Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode four of the Ultimate Cybersecurity Lab Project. In episode one, we built our PFSense firewall. We also built our Kali Linux VM, and then we used that to configure the various different VLANs within the lab. We also built Ubuntu server, and we added Docker and Portainer. In episode two, we built all our vulnerable machines. So we built the VM for Metasploitable 2, and then we created our containers, Buggy Web App, Dom Vulnerable Web App, and WebGoat are created in there. In episode three, we built Wazoo, which is our Seam and XDR tool. We then ingested logs from our Kali Linux VM. We ingested logs from Docker and all our containers and also the PFSense firewall. We then moved on to build Nessus, which is our vulnerability scanner. And in today's episode, which is episode four, we are gonna build Caldera. So Caldera is an adversary attack tool and Security Onion, which is used for threat hunting and network monitoring. Like I said in the other episodes, if you want to follow along, then go back to episode one and start there. because so we start each episode from where we left off in the last one. So let's start off today by building Caldera. Caldera is an automated adversary emulation tool. And as you can see, version five was just released in February. I tried and tried several times to build version five, but I kept getting loads of error messages. And I did some research and I found out that this is actually listed as a bug in version five at the moment. So for this lab, we are gonna build version 4.2. So follow along what I'm doing as I've tried this several times and it's worked. I will put all these links in the description. When you go to the Caldera Read the Docs website, just come down to the bottom and just make sure you are reading the stable version of these documents. So select stable and then let's take a look at the actual requirements. So for Caldera, we need to run Linux or Mac OS X. We also need to have Python 3.8 with pip3 installed. You need a browser that you can log into the web app. In terms of hardware requirements, we need to have 8 gig of RAM and two vCPUs, so it is a little bit intensive. Now, the good news for you is that you don't have to sit and watch me build another Ubuntu VM, because I've already done that. Let me just show you the hardware spec of that VM. So I've created this prod-caldera VM, and in terms of hardware, I've added 8 gig of RAM and there's two vCPUs. For storage, I've just added 50 gig for now. And in terms of network, I've added this to our VMBR2 network. So that is the lab network. This tool is going to live in VLAN 1 up here. So we do not need to add any VLAN tags or anything. So as you can see, so it's VMBR2 with no tag. So that is running Ubuntu 2022. So I powered this on and I ran through the Ubuntu setup. And I've also configured a static IP address on that machine during the setup. And that static IP is 10.10.1.53. So let's try and ping this machine to make sure it's actually online. Okay, you can see, and let's SSH to this machine, 10.10.1.53. Yes, and then let's put the password in. Okay, we are here. So let's do some updates first. Caldera is actually a pretty fast tool to install once the version is working. Um, version 5 did not work at all, but version 4 is, seems to be very stable. So we've connected and we've updated this server. So let's go back here and check out the install instructions. So this is the step by step. So we need to pull this down and I am going to modify this to add 4.20. So I'm going to copy this. Let's go back over to the server and I'm going to paste this in. Paste clipboard and I'm going to go back and I'm going to change this. So this is 4.2.0 and let's run that. Okay, so let's check. So we have downloaded that and you can see this folder here. You can see there, let's just check what's in that directory. Okay, perfect. So, so let's look at the requirements again. So we need to have Python pip3 installed as well. So let's do that. So go over here, sudo apt install python pip3. Oh no, python3 pip. Let's download that. Okay, perfect. So let's go back down and check what the next steps is. So we've already cloned this. 
So the next thing we need to do is go into this, into Caldera, then add the pip3 command to install the modules and tools that's listed within the requirements.txt. So let's go back in here, we will go into Caldera, then we will look at that requirements.txt file and see what's there. So there is a number of different things that it is going to install. So let's go and get that command. So I'm going to copy this one, copy that. I'm going to go back here. Then I'm just going to simply paste that in and let it go and do its thing. Okay, that is done. So in order to start this, I'm going to copy this Python, this command here. And I'm going to go back. So now that's all right, I'm going to paste that in. But before I actually hit enter, I'm just going to add this dash dash insecure. So it'll start the web server now. So if I hit enter, you should see that it will run down and it will start this web server. So you can see now where it says all systems ready. So the web server is running. Let's check the documentation now. So you can see it says connect to localhost and port 8888. So let's go up here. We're going to enter 10.10.1.53 colon 8888. And that should bring you to the Caldera page login. Now there is two logins you can use here. You can log in as red and the password is admin. And that will take you in here. So this is for red teaming stuff. Then if we log out, you can log in as blue and admin. And then that brings you into a blue team portal. So as you can see, version 4.2 is pretty easy tool to install. This seems like a very interesting tool and I love some of the ideas and features behind it. And I think after this lab has finished, I definitely want to come back because I would love to be able to set up some emulated attacks and just kick them off and seeing if we can see the alerts and stuff in the seam and really just see if we can defend against those things. So again, really, really good tool. I'll put all the links in the description below and a link to the GitHub page that has the information on that bug. Hopefully at some point version 5 will be available and then what we'll do is we'll just create a separate video and we'll build version 5. For now, it's the first tool we've built. Let's move on to build Security Onion. So our second tool we want to install is the Security Onion and this is a tool that I wanted to use for quite a while. It does alerting and network monitoring. So let's look at the documentation first. So the install for this is actually quite easy. We just need to download the ISO and then we can use that to build the VM. Now I've already done that. I've downloaded this to my computer and I've uploaded that to Proxmox. In terms of hardware, this VM is quite intensive for what it needs. So if you look here, it actually says if we want to run this as a standalone VM, we need four vCPUs, they need 16 gig of RAM and 200 gig of storage and also two network adapters. So this machine is a little bit intense. In terms of building this VM and Proxmox, it is supported. There is just some modifications we need to add when configuring the CPU. So let's start off and we will get the VM created. So let's just go on to create a new VM 208. I'm going to cut a prod SO for security onion. Let's go next. I'm going to select the security onion ISO that I downloaded and uploaded to Proxmox. Click on next again. Next. In terms of storage, this needs to be 200 gig. I'm going to put this in my ZFS. We can click on next. Here we need four vCPUs. In terms of the changes for the host, we need to modify this and just change this to host. And then I click on next. This is a 16 gig of RAM, 16, three at four. Next again, and this will exist within our lab VMBR2 network. I'm going to click on next and then on finish. This server needs to have two network adapters. So we're going to go back in there and add the second adapter. So we'll go back in here, click on hardware. We're just going to click on add and then network device. I'm going to add that in the same network. So it's going to be added to VMBR2. There's no VLAN needed for this. Um, now this second network adapter, I'm going to set that disconnected for now. So click on add. 
So you will see the network adapter is added to the machine, but the link is down. If you don't do that, you will run into an error message when you're building this VM. So just bear that in mind. So let's go to console and we will start the build process. Let's click on start now. I'm just going to run through the setup. So install security onion and type in yes to proceed. New username, so it's Jared, now my password. Okay, so the initial install has been complete. So hit enter to reboot. Okay, I'm gonna log in. So this is the username and password I created earlier. So welcome to the security onion setup. Continue, yes. So we're gonna do the initial install. I want to do the standalone. So we need to type in agree. Okay, so standard. So this server is going to have access to the internet. I'm just going to leave the default host name. We're going to use anyway, leave that blank. So we're going to choose this network adapter. That's what the first one we'll use for management. And I'm going to set up a static IP address. So I want 10.10.1.54 slash 24. The gateway is 10.10.1.254. And um, the DNS, I'm also going to add my firewall. 10.10.1.254 comma okay search to mean assign so yes this connects directly to the internet so do you want to keep your default docker ip that's fine yep so select your second nick just press spacebar and then go to okay please enter an email address to create an admin account okay so okay enter password enter it again how would you like to access the web interface? Okay, I'm just going to use IP for now. Do you want to access via the web interface? Yes. So I'm going to lock that down to my 10.10.1.0/24 subnet. So let's have a look at the settings. So 10.10.1.54. Okay, perfect. Now the last time I ran through this install, it did take about 15 or 20 minutes to complete from this stage. As you can see, Security Onion has finally finished its install. That took like 40 minutes, took ages. So let's go back to our Kali instance and we're just going to log in and see if it works. Let's open up a new tab. It was 10.10.1.54. Okay. So enter my login details. Login. Okay, this is good, I'm excited. So that is Kildera and Security Onion we've added to the lab, two tools that I've wanted to build and play around with for a while. I'm really excited to come back after this series and sort of deep dive into each of those tools. Let me know in the comments below if you're following along with the lab and if there's any other tools or services that you think I could build into this series. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series and I will see you next week.